had never in my life been in a fight. So that was the first time I ever felt a fist on my face. <laughs> I was shook. Santa baby. Hey YouTube, it's Amanda Dubay here. How are you? I'm doing all right. Thank you so much for asking. Honey, today is Vlogmas day two, but I'm calling it five days of Dubay. We're gonna be building a gingerbread house. If this isn't me being into the holiday spirit, honey, I don't know what is. And while I'm building this gingerbread house, I will be telling you guys drunken stories. I had a get ready with me where I told you guys some drunk stories and you guys loved it. I also asked you on my community page on YouTube what kind of videos you guys would like to see for my Vlogmas. And a lot of you guys wanted story times. And so I thought, well, why don't we put holidays and story times and together? Before we even get started with this video, girl, I'm gonna need you to subscribe to my channel Yup, and I'm gonna need you to make sure you turn your push notifications on for my channel, honey. That way, whenever I post, you know about it. And follow me on Instagram at Marley's Child, where I post pictures. As well, I have a giveaway going on right now where you can win $100 from me, uh, sent directly to your PayPal, sweetie. So go watch my last video to see how you can enter for that. Okay, so what is this? These are the instructions how to build the house. I have built a gingerbread house before. I never follow the instructions. I'm not a fan of instructions in general, so it's okay. So we got all the candies, which by the way, this isn't a lot. What kind of decoration am I gonna get done here, girl? I'm gonna start with the first story that I wanna tell you guys because I'm pretty sure this story might take up the whole video. So this story takes place, I think it was like maybe three, four years ago, I cannot remember. By the way, I sanitized my table if you're wondering. I have a friend that I went to high school with, okay? Now, this particular friend, like all my friends in high school were pretty goody two-shoes. This friend from high school, she's like my bad influence friend, okay? Mind you, nobody can influence me to do anything I don't wanna do, trust me, I've always been that way. Everybody has kind of like that hot-tempered friend. I kick your And I feel that heat you got told me, I can fight with nails. Don't get it twisted. So she's that friend to me, okay? I love her to death. One night, I don't know if I told her let's go out or she told me let's go out, but we decided to go out that night. Now when I tell you this is, this is my friend who, she has a temper, okay? Even through high school, the amount of fights I had to pull her out of. <laughs> Like she was my friend who fought in high school. If somebody rubs her the wrong way or says something wrong to her, she has no problem standing up for herself. And the funny thing is she's so tiny, but she is a chihuahua, okay? Let's give her a name, let's call her Sarah. The funny thing about her is, She's not a big girl by any means. I wouldn't necessarily say she's the greatest fighter, but she is not afraid of anybody or anything. Like she's that friend who she will defend any and everybody's honor, including herself. You look at her the wrong way, she will ask you, what the are you looking at? Okay, so this is this friend. Now, she used to be worse in high school, like more hot tempered in high school. But, you know, growing up, I think, you know, she's a little bit less hot tempered. <laughs> At least that's what I thought. So one night we decided, you know, let's go out tonight. So it was just going to be me and her. We go to this club. I can't remember what this club was called, but it's closed down now. But anyways, we go out. Now, I hadn't hung out with her in quite a while, so I couldn't remember how hot tempered she is. And I can always seem to calm her down when she's really angry but it'd been so long since we'd hung out that I really forgot how hot tempered she is. And I also assumed that, you know, she's probably not as hot tempered as she was in high school. We go out to this club and you know, we're dancing on the dance floor. I don't think I was drunk, but I was pretty tipsy, you know. You know when you like don't drink as much at home because you're gonna drink more at the club? It was that sort of situation. So, you know, we get to the club or whatever. It's not too busy. I think we got there pretty early. I think we got there like around 11 or whatever. So me and her are dancing and there's a girl behind me, so I can't see the girl. Like me, when I'm dancing at the club, I'm kind of like, eh. Like I'm not really paying attention to my surroundings. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. But at the same time, I don't know. I just never assume anything's gonna pop off because nothing ever has popped off. So you know, I'm dancing, I'm dancing, and I guess the girl behind me might have given my friend a dirty look or was actively looking at her. My friend was not having a girl. I'm not paying attention because I'm dancing. You know, I'm catching a vibe, probably drinking hand. So my friend decides to over me while I'm dancing over me she yells, like my friend is my height, over me she yells, what the are you looking at? So that's when I realized like, oh, what? Like I'm like, wait, what's going on? Now that grabs my attention because I'm just like, what's going on? Like who is she talking to? 
does she know this girl whatever so I don't know what the girl behind me said oh my gosh the side of this broke what this is so stupid why would this break did I not need it long enough this is so stupid what am I supposed to do now all right well we're gonna make it work cuz I'm over this I'm not even gonna eat this I don't like gingerbread houses like that. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm lying. I might get a little nibbly one day. You are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. I don't know what the girl said, but the girl obviously yelled something. I mean, it was loud. And the girl goes like this to my friend. And if you, are, if you know somebody who's hot tempered, the last thing you want to do is, you know, nudge like that. So when the girl did that, my friend was not having it. So my friend decides to punch the girl. Now again, I'm standing in front of my friend. So the girl's behind me and my friend is here. Why am I in the middle of this fight? <laughs> I didn't even sign up for this. So when my friend decides to punch the girl through me like this, she missed. My friend did not, nothing connected. Like I said, my friend is a small girl. She's not afraid, but I'm not gonna sit here and say she's a good fighter because she is not. I have witnessed enough fights to know my friend cannot fight. Which by the way, you know people who are not scared of fights but don't seem to win a lot of them? Where do you get the confidence? <laughs> Like, I wish I had that confidence when it came to my dreams and aspirations in life, girl, because I do not know where people who cannot generally fight get the confidence to fight. Like, I just don't know. Why are you so confident, right? So my friend punches through me to punch the girl. The girl decides to punch my friend, right? But it didn't connect either, or maybe it did. I just know my friend looked normal, okay? So at this point, when I realized that these two strangers are fighting over a look, I'm like, uh-uh, uh-uh. So I literally, like, my friend is super small. This is when I was skinny too, but I was still, you know, stronger than her. The club had, like, two different rooms, so I pushed my friend. Like, I'm like, no, 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 what we not gonna do, what we not gonna do, and I'm pushing her into the next room. And I'm like, listen, girl, I don't know how you go out, but this is not what we gonna do, okay? So I'm telling my friend, like, honestly, like, it's not a big deal, like it's a misunderstanding. Cause the thing is at clubs, people bump into each other all the time. Girls look at you all the time, it happens, you know? Who knows why people are looking at you? You know, for all you know, sometimes people are looking at you cause they think you're beautiful, you know? It, it's not always a bad thing. I told my friend, I said, calm down, like it's not a big deal. She probably wasn't thinking about it. Like, let's not fight or whatever. So my friend cools down. And now we're in the other side of the club. Now, this fight went on so quickly, you guys, that nobody really noticed. This was like one of those kind of like, it was kind of a little bit icky get out of a club. Um, and so there wasn't a lot of security around. Like where we were as well, we were kind of close to the DJ booth. So I'm shocked that, you know, nobody saw. Nobody came and told us to leave. And again, it wasn't really a fight because when we went to the other room, that girl stayed there. So she really wasn't about it either. So we go to the other room. I call my friend down. I'm like, look, girl, I haven't been out in probably two weeks at the time. I used to love to go out. But I'm like, girl, I haven't been out in a minute. Let's not ruin this. Let's just have a good time. We're in the other room of the club now. You ain't even got to see this girl. There's no beef to be had. It's not like you know this girl, you know. So she's like, okay, cool. We get another set of drinks and we're dancing. We forgot all about the fight. Like, I'm pretty sure we were dancing for like 20 minutes. We're dancing, we're dancing. Forgot all about this fight. After a minute of dancing, uh, these two security guards come up to us. Now, I have never been kicked out of a club before, so I, I don't too much know the etiquette in being kicked out, okay? So these two security guards come up to us, and they're like, yeah, you guys were in a fight, you guys need to go. And I'm like, what? And they're like, yeah, you guys were in a fight, you need to go. Get out of my Caucasian house. Get out. Get out of my house. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I didn't even see anything. I don't know what you're talking about. Like, I decided to just pretend like it never happened. So I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. We didn't get into a fight. Like, we're just chilling in this room. Like, what are you talking about, sir? I didn't do nothing. I didn't see nothing. See no evil. You know, speak no evil. I don't know what you're talking about. So they start manhandling us. The second thing is, like, I think with, like, clubs and stuff, people always assume you're drunk and belligerent. So the way that they were manhandling us, I'm like, first of all, you are, like, twice as big as us. You don't need to manhandle us. You could even hold my hand and walk me outside. I wasn't arguing with him. Well, I wasn't in the beginning, but I wasn't fighting him. You know, I was I was walking. So if I'm already walking out as you're telling me to leave, you don't need to grab me and push me out. Like, let's not make a scene. I look really nice. You know, I've got my high waisted boots on, my lovely tight dress. You can't do that. My camera cut off, so I decided to go get a knife. And while I walked off, the house fell. <sighs> I'm over this already.
I think I'm just gonna decorate a gingerbread man. What? What's the point of this? It's not gonna stick. The icing bag broke. Let's just decorate this, okay? <laughs> this is me throwing a fit. So anyways, as we're walking out of the club now, the security guard is like bad handling us. Like one, one security guard is holding my friend and my friend is the same height as me. She's like five foot, five one, maybe five two max. I'm five foot. They're manhandling us out of the club. And out of nowhere, as we are being carried out of the establishment, the girl my friend was fighting, she was getting kicked out at the same time, okay? Now this club has two exits. For some reason, the security guards decided to take us out of the club at the same time with the same exits. So at this point, I'm kind of like by the bar. My friend is like behind me, closer to the exit. The girl comes, she's like yelling at my friend while she's being escorted out by the security guards and decides to throw a punch at my friend, right? But tell me why she decides to throw the punch at my friend through me and instead of hitting my friend, she does, <laughs> she hit the side of my face like, can I get a wall? Whoa. Whoa! Can I get another wall? Whoa! Give me another one! Whoa! Call the ambulance! Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't even know what kind of mathematical equation she used to punch my friend through me because my friend is behind me. Why are you punching in front of me to her? Why couldn't you wait till the security guard was beside my friend so you could punch? Why did you have to punch through me? How did you think that was gonna go? So the punch hit me. And you guys, I have never in my entire life, okay, 26 years. Well, at the time, I think I was like 22, 23. I had never in my life been in a fight. So that was the first time I ever felt a fist on my face. I was shook. I literally was shook. The room went dark for me. It didn't go dark because she punched me hard. It just went dark because I was like, I just got punched. What did I do? Okay. Now, luckily, like I said, the girl wasn't about it. That punch did not hurt. She hit me like kind of like by the eye. My eyelash didn't fall off. So like my makeup looked fine. My eye didn't even water. I don't know what kind of weak punches she was throwing. Maybe she was drunk. I don't know what to tell you. But all I'm going to say is it didn't hurt. But I was so mad because I'm like, now I start yelling at the security guard because I'm like, why the hell would you? You take us out at the same time as her at the same exit i didn't do anything why would you do that you know so i don't know which way they took her after she punched me like she was far like she she didn't get to punch me again we get outside now and i'm just like so embarrassed too because you know when you get outside of the club there's like a lineup of people and like you know the way they kicked us out they wanted us to be embarrassed <laughs> they wanted to make sure we were not coming to that club again because girl they made a strain okay when they kicked us out everybody outside and their friends were looking at us okay I, or maybe they weren't i don't know if they actually were looking or it just felt like they were looking now that we're outside this is like vancouver winter time okay so it's not snowy but it's cold so i'm like okay well can we have our jackets because we had coat checked our jackets i'm like giving him the coat check ticket like he's just being unnecessary necessarily rude. I'm like listen like I'm trying to reason with you you just kicked me out I just got punched in the face because of you like I don't need this can you please just go get our jackets so we can leave because at this point it's I don't want to be at your ghetto club anyways okay like I will say my what my friend did was wrong she shouldn't have hit that girl that fight should have never happened but I was an innocent bystander and like by the way that I was talking to them you could tell that honey I'm not about it I literally am not obviously if you know that girl and her friends were jumping my friends Obviously, I, I mean, I would do a little something. I might, you know, stick my hand in and pull my friend out. But I've never been in a fight in my life, you guys. I never claim to be hard. I am not hard, girl. I cannot hang with the best of them. And if you start a fight in my presence, girl, all I'm going to do is I'm going to pull you out. I'm going to never fight for you. I'm going to pull you out. Like, if you don't fight in your teens, why start in your adulthood? Leave it to childhood. This wasn't Love and Hip Hop Vancouver, you know. This was just a, 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 a Saturday night, me trying to go out with my friend. So anyways... Now we're walking outside. My friend is apologizing to me, but at the same time, she's like complaining about that girl. Like, you know, that dumb itch, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, girl, girl, you know, I'm rolling my eyes. So I'm like, girl, girl, you got us in this mess, girl. Okay, I barely got to dance. I didn't even hear Beyonce sound before you got us kicked out of that club, okay? Oh, man, you're just ruining it. You're ru Look at my lips. You're ruining it. It was just a mess. So anyway, finally we're like, let's go eat. Cause for me, like, I don't care how well the night goes or how bad the night goes. If I get some food 
after a night out, it is 100% a success. It doesn't matter if the music was trash, if I got cheated on while I was at the club, as long as I get a slice of pizza by the end of the night, I will be happy. Okay. After we finish eating, we're walking outside, you know, getting ready to find a cab, and guess who we see? That little half from the club. I was waiting on you at the door. Now at this point, I don't particularly too much like this girl either because you punched me in the face. Now I might not be a violent person, but what you're not gonna do is touch my face. I don't even like when people touch my face in like a cutie way, like, oh, you, you, you. I barely like it when men touch my face, okay? Unless we are in a particular situation where it's kind of romantic, I don't really too much like people touching my face because for one, I don't know where your hands have been. I also have very sensitive skin, so like you touch me the wrong way, it will leave a mark. So anyways, we see the girl, but she's across the street and we're on the other side of the street, but the the way that Vancouver is there's like this long street called Granville and most of the time on weekends especially in the summer um, they'll like block off the main street where there's like a lot of clubs which I think is a great idea because there's literally clubs across the street from each other so like probably to avoid a drunk person getting hit by a car maybe that's why they do it I don't know so we see her across the street and her and my friends start yelling at each other back and forth from across the street <laughs> But none of them want to run up. I'm like, ain't no security now. There's no reason why y'all can't fight freely. But you two want to yell at each other from across the street. That's when I knew both of them are not about a girl. Even though the girl hit me, like, I know that punch wasn't for me. And again, I'm not going to get into a fight over being hit by a stranger. I can take that L, okay? I already, <laughs> I already took enough L's getting kicked out of the club, getting manhandled by security guards. I'm not going to take another L by trying to fight some girl. Because maybe she can fight. I don't know. Yeah, that's the story about the first time I was ever in a fight. It wasn't even my fight to fight, and I still got hit. I can't talk right now. I'm doing hot girl sh I'm over decorating these. <sighs> let's just taste this. I'm not a big fan of candy, so let's take that out. Oh my gosh, you guys. There's this YouTuber that I watch on YouTube, and she loves trying food, like, you know, taste testing stuff. But she always gags, and it annoys the hell out of me because in real life, you wouldn't gag, okay? Like if you're trying a candy, candy can taste bad, but it's never bad enough to make you gag, okay? Everything she does, she gags for. And I love her videos, I love her vlogs, but I hate the fact that she gags with everything. It's like just so dramatic. But I love her content, so I deal with it. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, you guys, let's be honest, okay? Can we be honest right now? I promise I won't get mad. Please tell me in the comments down below, what do I do that makes you guys mad? Like, is there something that I do that's very normal and like small that just pisses you off? <laughs> because I feel like a lot of YouTubers that I love, like I love them so much, I watch them all the time, but there might be like one little tick thing they do, like maybe the way they chew or, you know, the way that like, oh my gosh, another thing I hate is when YouTubers don't look at the camera. Oh my gosh, I can't tell you how much that pisses me off when I'm watching somebody's YouTube video and they're staring at themselves in the viewfinder the whole time. Like they're fixing their hair, they're like talking to you guys. Hey guys, um, I'm so happy to be back. How are you? No, I hate it so much. Like, like I get it. You, you know, because I have a viewfinder as well. So sometimes I look at it to make sure that I look fine. But the fact that you can sit there and look at yourself the whole video, I can't stand that. In the comments down below, please tell me what is it that I do that pisses you off. I promise I won't get mad. I won't hold it against you. I'm going to pretend like it never happened. I just want to know out of interest sake. Uh -huh. I hate the icing. Hold on. Um, child. Anyway, so. This is so stale. Oh my gosh. Only a child would like this. Another thing I don't like is when my favorite YouTubers consistently leave YouTube, like consistently are always not making their promises and leaving. I know I do the same thing. <laughs> so I'm not going to, yes, I'm being a hypocrite, but I personally hate it. Another thing I hate, it seems so silly and so petty. I hate it when YouTubers have like their friend or partner in the back or whoever's in the back. And so they're, they're telling us a story, like the audience, you know, they're looking at the camera telling us a story. And then Susie in the back wants to keep talking to them, but we can barely hear Susie because she ain't close enough to the mic. And it's almost like now we're watching the YouTuber have a conversation with their friend. Like, no, 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 that's not how it works, okay? When you're addressing the camera, address the camera. When you're addressing your friend, cut that part out. I don't care what your friend Susie that I know nothing about. 
has to say you know what i mean like i clicked on the video to talk to you it's one thing if it's like you know every now and then if it's the whole time you're filming this video or telling the story to me it's just annoying i am pmsing y'all and i just want to be a hater just let me be a hater another thing i don't like is on instagram oh my gosh i posted this on my story the other day and i really try not to hate on people on the internet or instagram i leave that to my group chats okay but i'm gonna I'm just say it like it is i hate those tiktoks that dudes make doing one of these to the camera licking their lips that's the whole premise of your tiktok and just a, a background song what are you doing with your life do you know what i mean are you not embarrassed it, it's cringy to me that is what you call content and i think it's the content creator in me like i work so hard on my videos and to come up with things to keep you entertained and the fact that dudes can literally stare at the camera and wink and smile and that is entertaining or even dudes that like do that and then they put little quotes like treat your girl nice because you any any other guy can do it better chances are the dude who posts all those freaking tiktoks about how you treat a girl about why your relationship didn't go right about why you should leave him chances are he's an f boy himself because he has all these women that watch him thinking he's this amazing amazing dude and go into his d hands and he probably feeds them emptiness nothings okay and this is not coming because it's happened to me but it's obvious like it's so cringy another thing i don't like is why do people still support jeffree star how many times does somebody have to prove that they're not a good person like there's just been too many things too many scandals that he's done for you to not support him like fine i'm a black woman and it's a personal thing because he has attacked my race but like how many things does someone have to do for you to not agree with him or like even shane dawson like the fact that shane dawson still this day still has fans like still has people that support him like the movies he's done the videos he's done how much does somebody have to do for them to be canceled and i know cancel culture is like a bad thing and everything like that but i think some people actually deserve to be canceled like there's certain things that just shouldn't be okay and especially since we're in this day and age where everybody's so damn woke and wants to post about it but then forget about it three months later why are these people still relevant because i promise you when shane dawson decides to come back on youtube he's gonna do some you know some oh i change documentary and pull on everybody's heartstrings but he's still the same person i'm not saying people can't change but i'm saying a pattern of behavior over the span of his entire career up until the end where he became this amazing documentary emp empath man that is who he is like he wasn't a kid when he was doing all these things he was a grown man another person i'm shocked is not canceled is trisha paytas i used to love trisha paytas back in the day i thought she was so funny i loved that she was a bigger girl and embraced it and felt you know beautiful in her own skin she was one of the people that i looked up to when i was a teen i saw somebody that kind of looked like me of course she doesn't you know, Trisha Paytas is a white woman, a blonde at that. But I love that she was curvy and embraced her curves. But she has disrespected too many damn communities, too many damn times to still be relevant. I get that it's her persona now and it's a character she does. I don't even know if she has a moral compass at this point. Because anybody and anything, if she's going to make her money, is worth offending and disrespecting and exploiting anyways y'all maybe i'm just mad that my gingerbread house didn't turn out <laughs> when i say i'm the grinch i really mean it this video took a dark turn <laughs> yeah happy holidays <laughs> But anyways, you guys, that's it for my video. I'm sorry if I triggered you. Don't forget to join my giveaway. I will post the details to my giveaway in the description bar in the video, you know, so you can watch it. Listen, don't forget, let me know in the comments down below, what is something that I do that irritates the hell out of you? You still love me, you just hate that I do that. Because I would like to know. I mean, I just I just ranted to you guys for a minute. You can do something for me, right? Just let me, kill me by myself. <laughs> That's it for my video. Thank you so much for watching and dirtish. Don't worry.